Hello and welcome. Today we're introducing a series, a new series of lessons, and it's called Swahili for, Engli for English Speakers. So today we will look at introduction, and then the next video, which will be number two, we will look at nouns. And then the next one, number three, we're going to look at pronouns. Number four, we will look at verbs. Number five, we will look at tenses. Number six, we will look at days of the week. Number seven, we will look at counting in Swahili. Number eight, we will look at greetings. Number nine, we will start combining all these sections together and look at how to construct simple Swahili statements. And then the last lesson in this series will be conversion of English. Swahili. Thank you. I hope you'll stay with us and go through these lessons. Now, number one for today, we're looking at introduction. So what is Swahili? Swahili is a language that's widely spoken in East and Central Africa. So number one, it's in Eastern Africa and Central and also Southern. Africa. Number two, Swahili arose due to intermarriages between Arabs and Bantu speaking people along the East African coast. And therefore, it has words that are borrowed from both Bantu and Arabs, or Arabic language. The next part, we're going to look at Swahili alphabet. In Swahili, we use vowels, and that's key to both reading and writing Swahili. So the first letter is A, which we say A, and then E, which we say E, and then I, which we say E, and then O, which we also say O in Swahili, and then U, which we say U. So the first one is A. Then the second one is E. And then E, maybe I will write it this way, E. And then O, it's, it's it's not it's not a o sound in English where you have two o's next to each other, but it's it's like o. It you stretch it a little bit o. <clears throat> but we will look at some examples where you actually put more than two vowels together, and then the sound becomes even longer. And then the last one is u, which you say u. Now 
Now, for you to be able to read and write Swahili, you really need to practice this. Let's start together. A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U. We have a song that we usually used to use for teaching kids. We say A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U. A, A, E, O, U, U, U. Now, we can start combining consonants with these vowels. So, for example, with an M, M by itself is M, M, and then you add E, that's Ma. And then M with E, M, remember E is E, so it becomes Me, Me, Mo, and Mu. Let's... Let's review this again. Ma, me, mi, mo, mu. Now, for example, mother. In Swahili, we just repeat this ma twice. So it becomes mama. Next, with the letter B, so it will be ba, be, b. Bo, ba, be, bi, bo, bu. And then for father, that's baba. With an L, it will be la, le, li, lo, lu. La, le, li, lo, lu. To sleep, you say la, la. With a K, it will be ka, ke, ki, ko, ku. So a brother will be, you'd say, ka twice. Ka, ka. A smoking pipe. I don't see that nowadays. We call it ki, ko. Ki, ko. Ki, ko. With an S, it will be sa, se, si, so, su. Sa, se, si, so, su. So, a watch or time, you say sa. So, see, we repeat the A, the A sound twice. So, sa. That's a watch. Now, we say sasa. And then using this C, will be us. And that when you say CC. Now, let's look at another one. With a Z or Z, it will be za, Z. Z, zo, zu. Za, ze, zi, zo, zu. You have to see the difference. With an S sound, it's much more softer. Sa, se, si, so, su. But now with a Z sound, it becomes za, ze, zi, zo, zu. Next, we look at W. Wa, we, we, wo, wu. Wa, we, we, wo, wu. Now we already looked at K here. Ka, ke, ki, ko, ku. We can also use G instead of K, and that will be ga, 
ग गी गो गु गा गे गी गो गु दैट्स डिफरेंट फ्रॉम के वेयर वी से का के की को कु एंड वी सो एन एग्जांपल का का एंड की को नाउ विद गा गे गी गो गु वी कैन से अ का इज गोइंग टू बी गारी विद आर आई गारी सो विद आर रा रे ri ro ru ra re ri ro ru so you take ga and ri it becomes gari which means a car now you can combine two consonants with a vowel so for example n and g together makes the sound ng ng and then with a it will be nga nge ngi ngo ngu ga nge gi ngo ngu so for example if you want to say mine you say wangu wangu so you use that ngo wa and ngu wangu mine you can also say changu and we're going to cover this later when we look at possessives now there's another sound where the spelling is similar to that to to ng but you have an apostrophe after ng so for example ng apostrophe a e. so that's not nga that becomes nga nga and then ng apostrophe e ng ng apostrophe i ng and then ng apostrophe o ng and then ng apostrophe u that becomes ng so for example pants or trousers or trousers you say lo ni lo ni so you use the ni nga nge ni ngo ngu lo ni another example is a cow you say ngombe ngombe this m b e together makes the sound m b so ngombe not ngombe but ngombe now let's look at that m b m b a that's mba b mba b b bo mbu ba be b bo mbu so you take ngo that's here and then be you add it there it becomes a cow ngombe mba be bi bo mbu you can also have three consonants together like n c h nch ncha ncha so ncha nche nchi ncho nchu ja nje nji njo ju you can also have just ch cha che chi cho chu cha che chi cho chu so an example of that will be food which we say cha we use that cha and then k u cha kula and l a cha kula that means food cha che chi cho chu ka ke ki ko ku and then la le li lo lu use the la part so cha kula 
that's food another one nj nj a will be nja that's different from ncha that's softer here it's nja nj nj and then njo and nju so for example to say come you use that njo but you add another one so njo njo that means come njo with a t it will be ta te T to two ta te t to two light or lamp we say ta ta it has two s ta With N, it will be na, ne, ni, no, nu. Na, ne, ni, no, nu. If you combine these two, na, ne, that becomes the number eight. And that one is na, ne. Na, ne. With J, you have Ja, J, G, Jo, Ju, Ja, J, G, Jo, Ju. And therefore, a city, you will say G, 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 if it's a big city. So that's a big city. A small city, you say Ki, G, G. Thank you very much. That marks the end of this first lesson. Remember, we are following this schedule. The next lesson will be on nouns, where we will look at some of the common nouns, and then singular and plural. Thank you very much. Please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, make a point of subscribing to support us.